All right, guys, we're gonna do our stretching series now. We'll put our feet together and hands together and start like we always start. Good bow to each other. Onigashimasu. Onigashimasu. All right, first thing is, if you're wearing your belt, which I hope you do put your uniform on, at least your karate pants and a t-shirt, put your belt, put your belt to the side so you're not lying on the knot. We're gonna to go to a push-up position, drop our body on the, on the floor. Thumb should be right near the center of the chest, fingers pointing straight forward, and we're gonna push through to upward dog stretch. Now your toes should be pointing backwards so you're resting on the tops of your feet and raise the head, peel the shoulders back and press forward in the belly. Now we're gonna tuck our toes, push back through, downward dog stretch. Hands are pointing straight forward with the fingers, feet are pointing straight forward with the toes, both at the same width. Try to drop your heels down toward the floor. Sometimes that's just enough of a stretch but if you get those heels down, start pressing your bottom up and allowing your chest to drop. We try not to hold with the head. The head should hang freely toward the floor. Look back through your legs. Breathe in and out. All right, let's take one leg and stretch forward. Put it where your hand was. This is our front lunge stretch. Our knee should be right over our flat foot. The other leg should be back out straight behind you, pushing through the heel. Elbow goes inside the leg. Press down towards your instep. Sink down in. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Let's change. Do the other side. Go. Rock. Shish. Hatch. And bring it up. All right, now we're gonna rock back in standing position. Rock back onto your heel. We're gonna pull the toes up, toes toward the nose, chest folds to knee. Keep your hips pulling away from that front leg. Itch, knee, a little side to side motion in the ankle. Sun, she, and change it. Go, rock. Chest to knee, shit, hedge, hand up. Now we're gonna take our left leg and reach back and do a nice strong lunge. Knee should be right over the front foot flat. Raise your left hand, sink down low, twist to the right. Now the twisting should really be focused in the hips and pelvis area. Itch, knee, sun, she, hand up, change sides. Now with that leg that's back, we don't want to drop and rest that knee on the floor. We want to keep that leg live. Okay, right hand high, turn to your left. Go. Rock. Shitch. High, stand up. All right, standing in one place, we're going to lift our left heel behind us. And keep your head up and your heel up. When you get to the top of the stretch, we're going to try to elongate that leg and the leg we're standing on. Itch, knee, sun, she, good. And change, and we'll try to get that expansion at the top of the stretch. Other side, go. Rook, shitch, hotch, excellent, and down. All right, let's take that left foot, try to get a quad stretch here. Opposite hand is gonna reach. So our left knee goes down and back. Our front hand goes up and forward, like we're stringing a bow, as in bow and arrow. Each knee, sun, she, and change. Go, rock, shitch, hutch. And change. All right, we're gonna to go to a straddle position. This is a side side uh, lunge from a squat. So we squat down low and lunge to the side. Try to keep the feet flat on the floor and keep them parallel. Each knee, sun, she. Stay low on the transition. Go, rock, shitch, hatch. All right, now the variation of this exercise where we turn the outstretched foot toe up, try to get real low. If my left leg's out, I want my left elbow reaching to the floor 
and we can work that ankle a little bit. Each knee, sun, she, and chain. Ideally, here we keep both heels on the floor. Hard to do. Go, rup, shitch, hatch, and sinking in. Let's go to the center now. We're going to pull our heels in, point them out, point the feet out as much as possible here. Remember that the knees and the feet should point on the same angle. It's important to keep them aligned. We're going to reach through the stretch to our heels, drop our seat, raise the chin, and open the chest. Little side to side motion, as long as it's gentle, can be real good here. Itch, knee, sun, she. Now we're going to straighten those legs and keep the sit bones pushing up and back. Allow the chest to fall, chin presses floor. Go, rock, shitch, hatch. All right, soften the knees. Roll your spine up, one vertebra at a time. Always trying to keep the spine flexible. We're going to rotate our feet 45 degrees. This time, head high, body erect, and getting that side lunge stretch. Hips press forward. Itch, knee, sun, she, and change. Go, rock. Hutch. All right, now we're going to go to a wide straddle. Remember, when we're doing straddle stretches, this front straddle or the side to side straddle, always work within your ability and support with the hands to keep things safe. So I like to let things go out as I exhale. I allow my body to open, drop my elbows to the floor, itch, knee, sun. She. Good. Now with my weight on my hands, I shift to one side, go heel to toe. And again, I breathe a few times and allow my body just to open and work into my best stretch. Make sure you're working safely within your own limitations here. Each knee. Sun. She. Okay, we're gonna come back to that front straddle. Try to keep your feet flat on the floor and the then parallel to one another, so you're working the edges of your ankles. Each knee, sun, she. And she, let's shift to the other side, heel to toe. Each knee, sun, she. Now we're just going to allow ourselves to sit out. And bring the legs in front. Give yourself a little massage. Get that blood flowing back into the big muscles in the thighs. And we're going to bring the feet together. Pull your heels close to your body. Set your posture. Head, chest out, chin up, and head high. And we're going to open the knees toward the outside walls. Itch, knee, sun, she. And then folding forward from the waist. Try to keep the spine long. Chin out. Go. Rock. Shitch. Hutch. A lot of you can put your chest right down on your feet. I would be doing that if I could. All right, let's finish up with our twisting posture. We're going to take our left leg, lift it high, place it down across the other leg. Okay, now our right arm hugs our left knee, and our right, arm, right leg folds up. So we're going to twist here. Now we want to set our sit bones on the floor, nice and square, and elongate your posture, straight up and high, and twist to your left. Itch, knee, sun, she, and unwind. Let's take the right side, up and over, place it on the opposite side, hold up the other leg, and let's hug that knee and twist. Itch. Nice and straight and tall. Knee. Sun. She. Very good. All right, we're going to kick our feet around behind. Come to a seza position. Like so. And tate from there. 
All right, I feel a lot better with this workout. I hope you do too. Thanks so much for joining us. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu.